dear viewers this video which covers the standalone standalone tv wind and battery based smart home systems smart home system here that is the uh, power pv power supply here that is programmed as that the pv power this is the pv and uh, here we are implement the mppt maximum power point tracking here that is we are implemented the maximum power point tracking for uh, perturb and observe method again this output of the pv is uh, that is connected to the common dc bus common dc node this is the dc power dc line node right okay so again this is that wind generation unit this wind generation unit this is the wind power plant that is the wind turbine unit this is the wind wind this is the wind turbine unit unit this wind turbine unit have been uh, supplied by that uh, three inputs one of the input is a wind meters per second wind speed in terms of meters per second so this is uh, at the 1.5 seconds it may be uh, increases the 8 meters per second to 12 meters per second and the pitch angle assumed as zero at the same time that is uh, what is the generator output speed in terms of per unit so how we are going to obtain this per unit value we are uh, uh, obtain through this uh, condition so here that is we are going to calculate the per unit combination by using the 8.1 star uh, that is multiply of 12 why we are going to put the 12 please uh, that is the wind turbine here that is the base wind speed we are assume as a 12 so for that purpose we are going to give that the 12 right okay next that is we are giving uh, that the value per unit uh, base conversion it may be given to the system and also that is the primary speed that is which is then the generator rotor speed rotor speed this rotor speed which may converted in the radians per seconds so radians per seconds it may be converted into terms of the per unit this per unit action we are passed here again it will be converted at the base of wind turbine systems okay so this is the 11 kilowatt uh, uh, power we are assumed because we are choosing the uh, permanent magnet synchronous generator at the 37 uh, of that the newton meters that is 560 volt dc and 3000 rpm for the full speed right so that is uh, we are assumed here uh, the, next the output of that the uh, PMSG is connected to the transformer isolation transformer again this is that the capacitor compensation that is uh, we are providing here this uh, resistance is connected to avoid the error system uh, solution error uh, due to that is the PMSG and the transformer which may connected in series to avoid this the solution none problem uh, here we are going to connect this uh, uh, the system which means uh, uh, here we are going to connect the, the uh, high resistance again this AC which may be converted into that the DC by using the uh, bridge rectifier again this is the DC to DC bug converter is that right this DC to DC converter which may going to convert the uh, variable DC to required level of the DC by using the PID controllers this value of a current and pin uh, pv uh, wind reference which can be uh, derived which can be derived from this uh, that is the program from the uh, different types of uh, that is the control programs the control program we are utilize so by you uh, computing this control program so we are going to achieve the reference value so this is the program this is the values we are going to feed this this is this is the control block which may be going to control so the next thing we are going to see the
that is the battery system this is the battery another one of the controls which is the normal bug boost converter we have used so here one of the the pid controller this pid controller the input reference we are getting from the i bats that is the bat is the battery current and the control the battery control we are going to obtain the battery control uh, we are going to get from this control circuit okay so uh, the entire program we have control implementation by using the pid controller and the pro programs uh, that is the control program which is implemented in the system so if it is whenever change of that uh, the irradiation this is that uh, the uh, change of temperature this is the irradiation so the irradiation which may be changes uh, 500 to 750 at uh, 1 uh, that is 1 second uh, 1 second at the same time that is the wind speed will also going to change as uh, as that is 1.5 1. 1. So that is 1 to 1.5 some operations will be going to take over again this is the battery here that is the battery we are going to give that if the surplus load is uh, that is uh, um, uh, the PV and the wind power which may be going to uh, excess power the excess power which can be stored in the battery if it is the power is less than that that is the uh, the availability power the battery which can be supplied to the smart home this is the smart home load right so this is that uh, the operation already run now uh, that is the already run in the system again uh, we are go going to run this system one second right yes now it's compiling is uh, now it's a compiling similarly the uh, what is the rotor speed of that wind turbine which may be converted into that the uh, uh, system that is the system frequency and uh, the um, total what is that uh, total value uh, which means uh, um, that is uh, 2 pi f and the radian to uh, degree conversion uh, it may be converted into that 314 uh, uh, in the three phase that is the three phase systems so that is 3000 rpm it may be converted into 314 so this is that the different cases uh, please see so what is that the maximum value of the uh, uh, system here that is the uh, fourth block which may be i battery so this is that i battery initially the battery will also going to supply uh, uh, then only it may be come in the positive current okay because at the time of second one one second and one point five second one second that is the pv load pv load is the second which may be going to increase us at the time of that is we have changed to increase at the time of one second 500 to uh, 700 uh, watts per meter square irradiations at the same time uh, that is the uh, uh, thing the small variations is to be uh, occur in this that the wind so the next thing the wind is at the time of 1.5 second it may be raised from that the uh, 8 to 12 meters per second so the huge amount of the uh, power will be uh, supplied by the wind so during that time that is the entire the, the battery which can be supplies and then compensate this the load power Again, it may be going to uh, charging, uh, that is uh, uh, discharging to charging mode. See, please see. So, that is 10 plus amps which we taken by the uh, battery. Now, the battery which can be turned over the, uh, discharging mode to charging mode. Now, the battery will be become the charging. So, whenever that uh, uh, surplusing of that the power is occur, it, it may be going to that the supply by that the um, uh, that is the two source so if the load is uh, less than the uh, that is the power availability of the renewable energy source again the uh, battery is supplied to the load at the same time 
if the source power is uh, greater than the load again the battery is charging so this is that uh, simple microgrid operations uh, is implemented in that the uh, uh, matlab also so here another one of that the waveform from the wind power generations this is that the wind power generation that is the rotor speed which can be changes here the electromagnetic torque at the time of 1.5 seconds which can be increases and the stator current will also going to increases right okay